brokers uh, are also very good referrals because they sell lots of uh, homeowners and condo flood insurance. It's called property casualty insurance. So Jonathan Roush and I brought these little trinkets. Everybody got one? Thank you. So, thank you. There you go. And um, thank you very much. You know what's also a good idea? I think I think you said it. I'm not sure. But if you could hook up with somebody in the group and actually spend a half a day with them, riding around seeing their customers and introduce each other, I think that's a great that's a great way to do it. So that's why I say you get to know everybody here, so you feel comfortable riding around in the car with them for half a day. <laughs> Suzanne Hanley with Integrity Merchant Solutions. We help businesses save money on their credit card processing fees, but that's not all we do because everybody says they do that. But we have uh, no contracts. Uh, we work very closely educating our customers on what they're paying and. Um, we uh, are different from anybody else, and I hear that from my customers. I don't, I'm not just saying that. They just tell me nobody's ever paid that much attention except when they raise rates, and, and I never hear from them again. Because they have a contract, they don't work hard to keep them. And I work hard to keep my customers happy, and um, integrity is what we're all about. So I love an introduction. I am very, uh, one of the most hated industries in the industry. I mean, in, the, in like with, with businesses, because they're inundated with credit card people. So a warm introduction is what I need. Anybody that uses credit cards, I can save the money and they don't have a contract and um, and I'm there for them 24-7. Thank you. Hi, Scott Berger, uh, best professor, soon to be, let me see, I'm changing my name to Larry. Larry David. Larry David. <laughs> Services. <laughs> It's actually going to be our food safety and inspection services. Probably the beginning of next month. To be called Kirby Services. Kirby Services. <laughs> Kirby yourself. All right. So in any event, uh, I go. I do. We do inspections for um, sanitation, food safety, and pest management. I try to anticipate the health department coming in and what they're going to be looking for in my accounts. Um, we just did something that was really very interesting. And then I think at this month, with all the heat, they're probably going to check all of the temperatures in the freezers and the refrigeration units, which I routinely do, as well as the sanitation buckets. And I don't know if you know, but in the back of the house back there, they should have these little red buckets with uh, sanitizing solutions in there. And I test to make sure that there's a proper uh, level of sanitizer in there. So I went in there and I tested those things specifically, probably about 10 different freezers and refrigeration units and found one that was really, really bad at fraud and food. So I called, he called the guy in, fixed it. The next day, the health department came in and checked the same thing that I did. So he passed with no problem. So it's really like a lucky guess. You know, it just happens once in a while. But that's what we do. We take photographs, probably between 40 and 60 digital photographs during an inspection. We put it into a five-page computer-generated report along with an action plan, and we download it and give it to the owner. So this way, if he has more than one location, which most of my customers do, they're able to keep an eye on this. Scott Barber, best professor. Okay. I'm going to make it the last week over here because I came in late. That's not a good thing. My name is Joe Machado, and I am with Price Smart Solutions, uh, the exclusive distributor for Brylo Technology. I actually brought one with me today, so you can see what it looks like. This little catalytic device, made primarily of titanium, platinum, and other patent ingredients, uh, goes inside the deep fryer and extends the cooking oil's life by 2 to 300%. So, restaurants, uh, oil, and we fry food is one of your big expenses, usually in the top five. So, it's a huge savings. Uh, we've got dozens of major national accounts that use the technology. In fact, for the last 10 years that the company's been around, we've only focused primarily on large corporate accounts. So it's inside every carnival ship, every brand they run. It's in, uh, Applebee's has 400 installations, uh, Bullfish Grill has in every restaurant. Dozens and dozens of major accounts. But now, I'm very pleased to say since I joined the company, I implemented the development of an application that we have a mobile app that basically provides the same support we used to provide individually to these big brands. So now we can offer it to anybody. We can set them up and make sure that they implement the management system correctly. Um, in addition to extending oil life and saving them lots of money, it also improves execution time because the technology increases the oil storm conductivity. So they're able to turn their temperature downs down and still cook faster than they were at a higher temperature. That also helps the oil's life. Who, who installs that? 
No, anybody. It's just literally to drop in the device. Just drop in. How long does that last? Uh, well, that's the bad part. Uh, they have a five-year warranty, but unfortunately, these darn things last forever. It's funny, but I gotta make a living. <laughs> My hope is that they mishandle it, break it, or lose one. Because if you take care of it, some of the ones we sold back in 2009, 2007 are still still in service. Um, that's that's a downside for me. Good for the customer. Uh, we also have a rental program, which is what I promote, which means that it costs them zero, literally zero. <laughs> they commit put into their fryer. With the money they save that month, they make their payment. So it's positive cash flow from day one. Much better quality food. In fact, a um, gentleman by the name of Ferdinand Metz, anybody who's in the industry, trained culinary professionals will know the name. He was the uh, president of the Culinary Institute of America for 21 years. Current executive dean at the, the Cordon Bleu, on their national board of advisories, and he runs the Master Chefs Institute. They did a test in six Master Chefs, 185 blind tests with different products. When they compare notes, every single chef picked the fried or cooked food over the regular food. So it's proven that it improves every quality culinary measurement you can take, uh, makes food healthier, it absorbs 47% less fat, so the food's healthier. And if you're going to eat fried food, you should have fried oil in it. And uh, that's it. It's just if you know anybody who operates a fryer, don't put it back in now. How much are Well, um, it, I, well that's, it's, it's a very good question because they're expensive. They're very expensive. Because somebody asked me that. I said, how much it costs? How much it's costing me about the half? Right. But they're $1,500 for a unit. The ROI is about 100%, usually that, more. That's the whole unit? Yeah, this is a unit for up to 70 pound fryers. But I guess if you buy a lot of them, you get it lower. You know, well, yeah, like companies discount. like uh, Blue yeah. Brands and Carnival don't pay that yeah, retail yeah, price. Yeah. But at the end of the day, under the rental program, it's positive cash flow. So if you put one of these to your fryer, it's like $40 a month, it'll save you anywhere between $100 to $150 per fryer. It's like switching your life almost to LED. Exactly, okay, same thing, same thing. So, uh, you put, it, you put it in your fryer, and the great thing about it is the way we show it to somebody, on the day they're ready to throw out their oil, they're like, I can't cook it anymore. I literally come in and drop the device in, and within seven minutes, it's cooking like new oil. So it blows their mind, they're like, what just happened? I was about to throw the soil out. And then it'll, it'll run for two or three more days like that, and oil will ready to throw out. It's a pretty amazing thing. Like, well, that's it. That's it for me. Hey, John. John. Is that good? You're not going to do No, I just don't use it. Oh, in, in, in your in your introduction, could you elaborate on what Bernie was saying, on what your intro should be? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Why don't we do a, or you want me to, whatever you want. I do it after. First of all, as a guy who's very interested in the environment, cutting the actual oil disposal by two-thirds was very appealing to me. Do you know what I mean? Put that in your, put that in your water. My name is Jonathan Garber. I am with Flying Chip Media. We are an online marketing company. We're like advertising and marketing. So we provide two really vital business services. Think about this when you look at your own marketing efforts. First, we're storytellers. We craft your brand's message in an engaging and an interesting way that people want to engage with. We do that through branding. We do that through content. We do that through graphic design. We do that through websites, a lot of websites. But what's a good story without an audience to hear it? So the second service we provide is bringing a qualified audience to come hear your story. We do that through search engine optimization, targeted social media, if that's a fit for you, and out-of-the-box advertising. We bring all of those elements together. In short, we pretty much get your phone ringing or customers coming in the door. We are, as we say, the geniuses behind your success. Your website, or all your marketing efforts, but particularly your online presence, should be a money machine for you. That's a big statement, but it really should be generating qualified leads for you to convert. People should be coming to your website and be able to answer two questions in about three seconds when they hit it above the fold. I was talking to Terry about this earlier. Everybody, everybody here all wants to know what I mean by above the fold? Not you, but everybody else above you. You know what I mean by above the fold, old newspaper term, right? What you see on the news rack, when you see that paper there. When someone lands on your homepage, just as a little background, what they land on without scrolling an inch, that's above the fold. So look at your website and look at other people's websites and see if you can answer these two questions in the first three seconds if you're lucky. One, do I understand what pain of mine this company can solve. Do I know what they are going to do for me easily within three seconds? 
Secondly, can I grab something to engage them to do it for me? What do I do to get Sila to do solve this pain for me? Is there a big phone number? Is there a click here for help? Is there a place to put an email or a form? Is it all there above the fold? If not, that website is going to fail to convert. It's going to fail to actually click. You may get visitors, but the actual number of people who then are trying to engage you from that goes down tremendously. Think about that. Your marketing efforts should pay off. Your website should be a lead generation engine for you. Now, in talking about self-introductions, which is what Howard asked me to talk about, most people know that Bernie uh, Cronin was my mentor for a number of years, and I was a substitute teacher for him, 